Hi everyone, today I'm going over what my morning skincare routine is. It actually is pretty simple. Um, I'm not usually trying anything harsh at the moment. So how I start out depends on if I worked out in the morning or not. If I worked out, I use a cleanser. If I don't, I just splash water on my face and then start with toner. So um, a couple of the cleansers I'm using most of the time what I use is this Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser, even though it doesn't foam. And, and I just use a little bit because in the morning I'm not taking off makeup. But I have been experimenting with this Myriad. Um, they have several different kinds of cleansers. This is the Renewing Cleansing Cream. And again, I would just use a little bit. Um, I have mentioned in some other videos that I've got a little bit of rosacea right here, which is interesting. Um, an esthetician pointed that out to me several years ago. So um, it's not as noticeable as people who pronouncedly have rosacea, but it's noticeable to me. Then I go with an alcohol-free toner, and I'm using the Neutrogena kind. I just put a little bit on a cotton ball, um, not the little pad, but the cotton ball, and that just gets off last traces of whatever there is on my face, um, especially um, into the hairline, just in case I missed anything the night before from makeup. Then, something I've added lately, which if you watch um, my video on what I do for my nighttime routine, which I'll link to on this side of the screen, <laughs> it will open in a new window or a new tab. Um, I use a beta hydroxy at night, but in the day I'm using an alpha hydroxy. This is an 8% alpha hydroxy gel. These typically come in either lotions or gels. I prefer the gel. I just use a pea size amount. I don't put it on my under eye, I don't put it on my eyelid, but I do put it everywhere else and I put it on my neck. And this is by Paula's Choice for all skin types. I let that soak in. I do something else for a couple minutes. And then I use two products back to back. I've been using um, an antioxidant concentrate. This is also from Paula's Choice. She has several different kinds depending on your skin type. Now this is her skin recovery line, which is for dry skin. She has a couple different lines for dry skin. She has one for normal skin. She has one for oily skin. She's got um, a line for men. She's, it's just very interesting. And you can also go to her website and in the left panel choose what your problem is with your skin. But you can always call them and get help, which is what I did back when I was talking to them about my little bit of rosacea. So this, I put a pea size amount on my finger and rub my fingers together and I put it over my whole face, including my eyelids and under my eyes and my neck. Then I've recently added this because I'm dry. This is Paula's Choice Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster. And I put, this comes in a dropper. I put two drops in the palm of my left hand. Then I take these fingers and put them together, and I just put it all over my face, the two drops, face, whole face, eyelids, under eyes, and neck. Now, if I only had, uh, if I had normal skin, but I had um, some dry spots, I would probably just do one drop and touch that finger on that one drop and then touch the dry spots on my face and leave it. Then I let that soak in for a couple minutes. And then the last thing I use is a sunscreen. And I've been using, again, going back to Paula's Choice, I've also tried Neutrogena. There are a lot of really good sunscreens on the products on the market these days. Um, years ago, they only blocked UVB rays, but today you can find lots and lots of sunscreens that block both UVB rays and UVA rays. And um, my favorite product or ingredient inside a sunscreen that blocks UVA rays is titanium dioxide because it is best for sensitive skin. I've done a lot of reading on this. 
including Dr. Mercola's website. So I use Paula's Choice and her skin recovery line, again, because my skin is fairly dry. And I use um, more than a pea size amount, probably equal, equivalent to two little green peas. Spread it between my fingers, put it all over my face. Yes, it starts out with a whitish look, but that's just the titanium dioxide. Maybe there's a little zinc oxide in here too, but it sinks in, the whitish goes away. I let that finish sinking into my skin. I go do something else before I put makeup on. So that is my daily routine. Um, I also wanted to mention um, what I did today with this makeup. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, I had seen a younger woman on her YouTube channel who, she's fairly fair. Well, she's very fair. And for contouring, she didn't like using a contour stick because it's too brown orange on her. So what she did was she used a dark taupe matte eyeshadow in her contouring, just in here, really. So I tried it today. It's not too bad. Um, I used a brush this size. And in my Stila, I won't show you the mirror, in my Stila Mind eyeshadow, I used this one. Now, of course, I want to tell you what color that is but um, I have to put on glasses to tell you because the print is so darn small and I can still hardly see it. Observation, that's what it's called. But any dark taupe, and I just dropped my brush, and I took the brush and I just put it under here and at first it looked really goofy. Actually, I put some down here as well and then I used my stipple brush and I stippled it out and then put regular blush on top. So that was an interesting thing to try. Make sure, I'll link here, um, over here, to my other video on the nighttime skincare routine I'm doing right now. All right, thanks. Bye.